The rarest flowers in the world. Hydnora africana. This South African flower looks like a melon with teeth, but in truth, it's a plant that does not have chlorophyll and therefore does not perform photosynthesis, photosynthesis. photosynthesis. preventing it from producing its own food. What it does have is an enzyme that it uses to partially dissolve the roots of other plants in order to adhere to them and take advantage of other nutrients. It's a parasite! The African Hydorna grows underground, and the only thing you could see from the surface is its flower, which is really ugly on the outside and apparently also on the inside because it smells like feces. And what is more curious is that there are animals that are attracted by this. Anna from heaven, sweet nectar of life. <laughs> its peculiar fragrance attracts carrion beetles and dung beetles that get inside the flower, but then they get caught up in a camera that closes as soon as they are detected. In addition, this plant has very slippery walls that prevents them from running away. But take it easy, they will not eat them because it has better plans for them. What kind of plans? Well, after a period of captivity, Hydnora africana opens, letting insects leave loaded with pollen. Once pollinated, Hydnora africana produces an underground fruit that takes up to two years to ripen but contains about 20,000 seeds. Snake Gourd Do not think that this list is all about monstrosities. I also have beautiful plants despite the fact that their names indicate otherwise. The snake gourd looks like it has a nice lace around its flower which is considered the most beautiful on the planet. And how not to be if it has a series of branches around its petals that remain closed during the day and open at night, creating a beautiful frame. Don't you think it's a preciousness? On the contrary to its fruit that is long and can reach up to 5 feet in length, sometimes it curls up and adopts the appearance of a terrifying snake hanging on a vine. As you can see, the most beautiful flower in the world and its frightening fruit are together on one floor, forming a great contrast. The contrast is exquisite. This plant grows naturally in Southeast Asia in addition to India and Australia, but it has been brought as an import to many African countries and the United States. White Egret Flower From the Far East comes one of the most beautiful flowers in the world and that only inhabits China, Korea, and Japan. This orchid is characterized by measuring 1.5 inches wide and having three white petals of which only one, the labellum, is extremely large, unlike the other two. In addition, it has two lateral protuberances that make it look just like a white egret in flight. In spite of being so beautiful, the white egret flower is disappearing due to its overcollection, but above all, because its habitat is being reduced by the expansion of farmland. On the other hand, in Japan, this orchid has found refuge in the highlands. I hope nothing happens to it. Yutan Paluo Within a list of strange and unusual flowers, Yutan Paluo stands out above all for the enormous enigma that surrounds it. This tiny flower barely reaches no more than one millimeter in diameter, and it is known for emitting mild yet noticeable sandalwood-like fragrance. In addition, Utanpaluo can grow on the leaves of other vegetables or even in places as rare as the iron of the windows or Buddha statues of the temples. It was so much the fuss that this flower caused in Asia that the Chinese government ordered to censor every piece of news that was related to the flowers in order to stop the many legends spreading that have accompanied the Yutan Paluo since its discovery. They even presume that Yutan Paluo appeared in the time of Buddha, and the fact that it blossoms again announces the arrival of none other than the royal king. So hurry up and achieve enlightenment! Um... Ghost Orchid this unique flower is native to Florida, Cuba, and the Bahamas and usually appears mainly in moist forests and swampy areas. What are you doing in my swamp? That's where they live, Ogre. The only problem is that you'll have to endure his phantasmagorical figure sliding on the trunks or on the main branches of the trees. But why its dark name? This kind of orchid is listed as an epiphyte, that is, it uses trees as support. However, it's not a parasite at all. The roots that support it are those that carry out photosynthesis, cellular respiration, and in addition, absorb water and nutrients. That's why, despite it lacks leaves, it does not need them. 
The ghost orchid mimics its roots so well that the flower itself seems to float through the air and, if you add that normally the flowers open above eye level and that the lower petal has two long extensions, you will realize that the common name is well placed. Looks like I won the jackpot! Unfortunately, ghost orchid is in danger of extinction and most attempts to grow it have resulted in failure. Therefore, its survival depends almost exclusively on the giant sphinx, the only moth in the area that has the proboscis long enough to reach the nectar of this flower, which is up to 3.5 inches long. And now you will know a flower that seems to be taken from Pallet Town. Who's that Pokemon? It's Corpse Lily. What, it, is it Vileplume? No, it's the Corpse Lily the largest individual flower worldwide since it can measure up to 3.3 feet in diameter. Wow! Look at the size of this flower! This exotic flower can be found in the moist forests of Indonesia. It's even considered one of its national flowers. On the other hand, something that makes it extremely unusual is its parasitic lifestyle. Corpse lily does not have stems, roots, leaves, or produce chlorophyll, but it parasites trees. But how does it do it? Easy! Thanks to some strands that come out of it, then joins with the roots of parasitized trees to obtain nutrients and water. Besides, it's quite difficult to locate it, and despite the fact that it takes several months to reach the mature state, the flower lasts for just 5 to 7 days. Because the flowers are unisexual, firstly the pollinating animals must first visit a male flower, then a female flower, otherwise there will be no fertilization. After fertilization, corpse lily produces a fruit with thousands of seeds inside which are eaten by tree shoes. These seeds spread when the shrews poop, proliferating this parasitic species. Devil's Hand Tree It's native to Guatemala and southern Mexico and can reach up to 98 feet tall and was revered by the indigenous peoples of the area. Currently, it is known worldwide for having one of the darkest flowers you can find which has a very similar shape to a tulip, and five stamens that are half crooked and give it a disturbing appearance similar to a hand. If I add to this its strong reddish hue, it seems that an evil creature is coming out of that flower. In addition to its dark appearance, the devil's hand tree is quite resistant, since it is able to withstand very low temperatures and even drought. But not everything is terror when I talk about this species, since for years it's been used for medicinal purposes. Even the ancient inhabitants of Mesoamerica used their flowers as an analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and to treat heart problems. Of course, they were always so worried for the heart. And from a flower that is used to treat heart problems, I'll talk about one that apparently has serious breathing problems. Aristolochia salvadoranensis. This flower has the face of Darth Vader. Yes, yes, just look at it. It's a plant that only lives in the jungles of El Salvador and Guatemala, and, like Otrora Anakin, it is used to being a bit ruthless when it comes to achieving its objectives. Firstly, it emits a scent of rotting flesh. That attracts several pollinating insects, which, guided by gluttony, get into those two holes that seem to be their eyes. Inside, some sticky hairs are waiting for them, which will greatly hinder any escape attempt. Absolutely, it's a master of kidnapping. Now I am the master. I know, big head. But when the prisoner insect finally escapes, it'll be covered with pollen. And, since you don't have very good short-term memory apparently, you'll end up falling into another flower with the face of Darth Vader, and at the same time, you'll be helping the reproduction of the dark side of the Force. Beehive Ginger From Southeast Asia comes a plant that stands out because its inflorescence resembles a beehive. This hive species can measure up to 12 inches tall and change color, since it can be white, yellow, orange, or red depending on its state of ripeness. Within these structures, the beehive ginger accumulates water, and you can extract it by simply squeezing the inflorescences. Its flowers are also quite striking. They have a texture like paper. Besides, they are purple with yellow spots and seem to peek through the spaces of this strange beehive. On the other hand, the antimicrobial properties of beehive ginger have been discovered by doctors. That's why it's used to treat eye infections. Currently, beehive ginger is grown worldwide as an ornamental plant despite the fact that it's native to Asia. 
In addition, the water of its inflorescence is used as perfume because of its fragrance. Purple Passion Flower How passionate this flower can be if it looks like a helicopter or a dangerous virus! Jesus Christ! That's right, by Jesus Christ! In the 17th century, the idea that in this plant is exposed various implements which were used during the crucifixion was spread. The three styles would be the three nails, the five stamens would be the hammers, and those thorns that are on the petals are obviously the crown of thorns, that's why the name. What is more, this plant is a climbing plant that can reach 19 to 29 feet long, and whose flowers can be 2 inches in diameter. The passion flower sometimes ends up being the food for the larva of the butterfly Acraea acara. On the other hand, science attributed calming and sedative properties. Besides, American Indians applied poultice with this plant to treat burns and wounds. There are still so many flowers to discover. If you like this video, like it, subscribe, and activate the notifications so you don't miss the new content that is to come. Ah, uh, and if you like the natural wonders, you can enter this one, this one, or this other video.